All right, check this out. So I am bench testing this um, fuel shut off solenoid. This is out of my excavator. And what I discovered is, well, I, I know it's bad because it was causing the excavator not to run, but as part of the testing process here, uh, what I have hooked up is this red lead goes to this 12 volt battery on my generator. This battery actually powers the, uh, the on and off switch so I don't have to pull start. So this is just my power source, 12 volt. So this red lead is going over to my little test light. And this test light is simply a license plate light for a vehicle. So I have one, so I have my 12 volts coming into one of the wires. And then at the other wire, I just have very loosely connected another wire. This wire, whenever I ground it to where my power source is located, the light comes on. Can you see that? It's really bright out today. All right, so there the light's off. I ground it and the light comes on. Not grounded, light is off, grounded, the light is on. So what we do is we put the solenoid, the shutoff solenoid, we ground that just like we do this wire. We ground it to, um, I can use the, the, the bolt here. So what we do, I can ground this solenoid to that bolt, I'll just touch a, a bare part of the metal and then apply power or actually apply, apply the ground to one of the pins on the connector. And if you see my light down there in the ground, whenever I touch the pin, the light comes on. Now you notice nothing happens to that, to this pin, which is supposed to go in and out to cause the fuel to shut off and turn back on. So I ground it, apply the ground wire to that post. Then if I push in on the actuator pin on that solenoid, you can see the light goes out. Pin is in. And the pin's out on the solenoid. Solenoid point pin is in and it comes out. All right. So I move my wire to the other pin on the solenoid. And again, the light lights up. But if you see, it is nowhere near as bright as the other pin. This is the right side pin this is the left side pin so it's much looks like there's a lot less voltage going through there now when i push that pin in the light stays the same but i can feel a little bit of sticking on the actuator on that actuator pin on the solenoid it sticks a little bit now if i take and remove the power there's no sticking whatsoever. It just freely moves in and out. But whenever I apply that ground wire, it just sticks a little bit. And I think that is the, I think it's called the hold in, the hold in portion that is supposed to electromagnetically hold that pin in. So whenever I turn the key on the excavator, power is applied to this is my theory power is applied to that pin on the left right here which causes that magnet to suck this thing back in and it holds that pin in which will allow the fuel to run through the system so i think this diagnostic effort proves that this solenoid is indeed bad. 
it just sticks whenever I push that actuator in. It just sticks a little bit. So, I'm going to call that bad. I'm going to buy the new actuator. And then, whenever I get it, I will perform the same test. And hopefully, whenever I put the ground wire to that pin, this actuator will stay sucked in. And then, when I remove that ground wire, it should pop back out.